Meanwhile, the White House says it is working on a more efficient and humane system for dealing with unaccompanied children. However, critics say the new president's policies are what's responsible for the influx. Natalie Brand has the latest. Felipe Figueroa says he left his native Guatemala because of the insecurity there. We came for the American dream, he says, and to ask for asylum. His family is part of a surge of migrants now trying to cross the U.S. border. Under a pandemic health rule, families are still being turned away, but not children showing up on their own. That includes more than 3,200 unaccompanied children in Border Patrol custody as of Monday, according to data obtained by CBS news. Advocacy groups, including kids in need of defense, have staffers on the ground. We're worried about kids spending long amounts of time in those border patrol stations because they're absolutely not appropriate for children. The Biden administration has reopened a federal facility to house the children while officials are trying to get a handle on messaging. The border is not open. Going forward, we will continue to look for ways to provide legal avenues in the region for people needing protection while we continue to enforce our laws. The administration also announced it's restarting a program to allow some minors in Central America the opportunity to apply for refugee resettlement from their home countries. They can ask right there without having to make the journey. So that's one, gonna be safe for the kids, and two, it's gonna relieve a lot of this pressure. Republicans are blaming the surge at the border on the Biden administration's policies. To name a few, reinstating catch and release, repealing funding for the border wall, re-empowering sanctuary cities, and rescinding the stay in Mexico policy. A group of House Republicans is planning to travel to Texas next week. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.